welcome back to my youtube channel uh the topic for today it's uh talks about sustainable tourism we talk about how to sustain in the industry of tourism uh what is sustainability so we will talk more about it so it's important that you understand this topic because it's a key topic that uh, plays a vital role in the industry of tourism. Okay, without wasting any time, let's go. Sustainability, as you see in the picture, it talks about uh, looking after the environment, making sure that the environment is in a good standard because without a good environment, there is no tourism. Okay, the first thing that you need to understand is to be able to understand to be able to understand the definition of the the term sustainable. So, sustainable tourism, it has to do with it involves y using our tourism resources, making sure that the, the resources that we are using are in the tourism industry. We use them responsible. Uh, making sure that we are responsible in using the resource that we are using in the industry. Uh, and also, we should make sure that we ensure that these resources that we are using last for a longer time so that the future generation can be able to use the same resource that we are using. That means is to sustain, to keep it in the, in the, in the same condition so that the future generation that will be born can use the same what same resource that we are using so sustainable tourism in making sure that we use resources responsible and ensure that these resources that we are using will last for future generation to use them okay let's understand the term uh, sustainable next slide sustainable globe so what they are trying to indicate to us is the sustainable globe which is this globe you see globe a it looks tired it's there's dead it's it's quite dirty on it um so this one globe b which is it has leaf it has it is clean uh green on it so meaning that it's been looked after so which one that is sustainable as we see that sustain as we, we indicated before that sustainable is trying to make sure that it, you, you look after environment uh, making sure that every resource that you use you keep it in the same condition so globe b is the one that is sustainable in these options so why we say it's globe b as we will be seeing the difference between these two globe b because it's healthy, bright in blue in color, ready to continue. There's trees, leaves, plants, water crops, natural life, and renewal solar beans to collect literally. Meaning that everything here is in order and it's being looked after in terms of the nature, the water crops, everything. So this globe A, that's the reason why it's not uh, sustainable is because it looks tired, ready to give up. There is a lot of dead, a lot of crash, a lot of littering, uh, pollution, and also resources are, are exhausted. So, globally, there is no sustainability that is taking place. So, we are trying to differentiate in terms of knowing the sustainability. Um, okay. So... What do these pictures have in common? So we are trying to see what does this picture have in common. So this is busy with Fanai that are common here with pictures which is we see it's three legs. So we call these three legs, we call them the three pillars. We call the the three the three pillars. Um so these pillars, so we are trying to indicate here that if these three pillars one of the of the pillar is being removed from the three pillars meaning that this port won't be able to want to stand 
So in order for this pot to stand for itself, it needs these three pillars to be what? To be there. So same as sustainability. So sustainability, it needs uh, three pillars in order to, to okay. So these like portray three pillars of sustainability. If a business does not practice one of the pillar, leg or removed, meaning that if the business does not practice all the three, uh, the three pillars, meaning that there might be a problem that will take place in a business because this pot won't be able to what? To stand, meaning that the sustainability won't be able to take place uh, fluently. So we are trying to, 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 to get the inside of the these pillars. So we have three pillars in sustainability. So the first pillar, which is it's a economic pillar. So economic pillar talks about the profit, the profit that business will be making. Then we have the second one, which is the second one. It's a social pillar, social, social or or people, meaning that the social, social talks about uh, anything that affects people in terms of health, in terms of in terms of health, in terms of schools, in terms of anything that may affect people, social involve resources, education, all of those kind of things. Then the other one it's a uh, environmental pillar. Environmental pillar has to do with the planet, has to do with the with the planet, the the nature. The nature, how we preserve it, how we, we reduce any impact that is happening to the environment. So these are the three pillars uh, that are important uh, for sustainability for a business. So in order for business to function uh, effective in sustainability, it needs these three pillars. So we will go uh, further in terms of explaining each pillar. Okay, so these three pillars, economic, has to do with the money, as you see money here. Uh, second one, environmental, has to do with the flowers, which is environment, plant. Um, the other one is has to do with social, it has to do with people, it has to do with people. Okay, so environmental pillar, uh, we will try to outline in terms of saving energy, environment. So uh, these pictures below, uh, hotel, tourist, how they save energy for environmental pillar. We have globe, or we have solar system to, 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 to help us solve electricity. We have bicycle, in terms of bicycle, instead of using car that will have pollution, uh, we use bicycle instead of having fan. Uh, in, in the house, we have in, uh, can stay in the tree. Instead of lighting in the hotel, we use these cards whereby we will only light when we enter the room. The energy star, meaning that we use machines that will save energy. So these are the way of saving energy on the environmental pillar. Okay, so energy, save light bulb, which is self light bulb, uh, conventional bulb with this bulb so we use this bulb in terms of saving any uh, electricity solar power meaning solar power is good and strong all year around the energy source in south africa we use it make use of um mode of transport meaning that instead of uh, using a car we can use a bicycle uh, which is bicycle uh, don't provide any emission to the air and also it can help a person in terms of being healthier as well then the other one would be a tree which is tree we can use a tree for national shading in terms of um, we don't use electricity for fan we can just go there to the shade which is it will cool down us which is a uh, save of electricity uh, from the fan and a con as well so these are the ways of saving energy uh, the other one is electronic key uh, connected to the light system in the room 
a light on the switch as soon as you you key card unlock the what the door so the moment you enter the room that's when the light will show up so we use them in order to sell, save a light from the hotel. So key card stay in a slot inside the room, keep the light on. So energy star appliance, meaning these appliance are the appliance that saves in terms of the energy, energy which is use less electricity in terms of the fridges, uh, table dryers, uh, table dryers, dishwashers dishwashers laundry machine so these are the energy uh, star appliance that we use at home but these ones they are quite saving the what saving the electricity so this is uh, environmental that we are talking about ways of saving energy ways of saving energy then saving what saving water these ones environmental pillars and saving water as well so saving water which is the pictures that we are here in terms of the rainfall take the rainfall and uh, then we use it for flowers the shower water appliance blankets uh, gray water water that we use in shower and uh, shower and bath take that water and use it for plants then we in the bath and the uh, in the, the toilet Meaning that you flush uh, according to, to, to different ways. Okay, hotel collect rain water and use it for garden. In, meaning that the the rain that is collected from the hotel, they use that rain to for for the plants. Then dual flush toilets. These are the toilets um dual flush that visitors choose to use flushing the toilet. Meaning flush lesser water and two more. So the, the tourists will have an option to choose which one is either flush le uh, lesser when it pees, uh, then or either flush more two, two times. Dry water, we call it dry water, meaning that the water that will be used to recycling, recycling water from uh, base bins, showers bath cubes meaning we use the water for what for garden instead of throwing the water away the water will be then be recycling and be taken and be uh, take given to what to the plants then install the correct shower heads meaning that the showers that we use in the hotels um, any uh, attraction those are the for showers so they will use the right shower heads so that they can save the water and also control the temperature of the water. Less water is wasted, meaning that the shower heads will use the ones that don't use a lot of water so that we can save water. That means to sustain saving water. Energy star appliance, meaning that uh, we use appliance to save water. Washing machines and dishwashers encourage tourists to hand in towels every second day they wash, meaning that the tourists can wash their towels instead of using different ones so that make them clean. Okay, so on the environmental, we have something um, we have you and you need to be able to understand these terms, differentiate between these terms, uh, reuse, reduce, and recycling. So we need to be able to understand. What are these terms mean? Because they will show up. So these uh, terms are in the same caliber in the environmental uh, planet. So they fall under, under. So you need to understand when we say you reduce, what are we saying? You need to understand when we say recycling, what are we saying? Uh, reduce, reuse. Okay. So... When you are talking about uh, reduce, meaning reduce means to use something less. You don't overuse it. We use it less. Are we saying it's a lesser? Meaning that you use it in a manner that you don't waste it. You don't waste it. You use it in the right manner. Uh, meaning that less packaging. Do not waste it. As much 
meaning that you use that in the in the right manner in a limited manner so that you can use it again reduce it instead of wasting it over over use it meaning you use it lesser in a right way you don't waste it you can use another one that called reduce we call that to reduce something then the second concept is reuse meaning reuse is to use something again use an item again meaning this item that you are using you use it again maybe for another purpose maybe you use this for another purpose you use a for example a glass uh, a beer i mean you drink a beer then the beer the empty goes to recycling to make another thing so that we call it a reuse uh, reuse use it for another thing recycling meaning a recycling uh, waste undergo a process 10 a product is used for another purpose same waste undergo a process and it's turned into another purpose so that so recycling meaning that something that is used again uh, then you collect it and you recycling instead of throwing it away uh, if you will throw it away then people will collect it and use it for another purpose or for another thing for example a can cans they are collected they are being recycling then they will be used again so yeah so these are the differences in these concepts uh, on the environmental sector environmental pillar then we go to economic pillar so what is this economic pillar has to do so economic pillar has to do with the profit it deals with the profit that the tourism uh, side is making so a role of business it talks about the role of business it talks about um, communities being involved in development uh, uh, businesses how businesses can help to develop the infrastructure the role that the business should the, the economy should play in the business and townships so the economic pillar it says that the community should form part of decision in the economic pillar meaning that a community should form part of any decision that is being made in the making process in terms of the development of supplier uh, businesses and shareholders so community should be part of any uh, decision that is a decision making in terms of development of of businesses and shareholders so the business can help to maintain meaning that these businesses that will be part of the of the of the of the place they can play a role in 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 help with the maintenance and development of infrastructure infrastructure to the towns uh, the cities as well so recruitment must be fair meaning that everyone that will be hired in the in in the in, in this workplace they must be hired in a fair manner meaning that there should be no discrimination according to gender according to race uh, and disabilities meaning that disabled people must be given opportunity as well uh, assist with training and skills development meaning that there should be um training that are provided for the people uh, in terms of assisting them uh, skills development meaning that there should be skills that uh, are there courses for development of the people so we're talking about economy uh, profit meaning profit uh, profit so economic pillar indicates such things okay uh, local procurement meaning that local procurement 
support local businesses. When you're talking about economic pillar, in terms of profit, there should be support to local business in terms of for suppliers rather than further away center. Meaning that procurement, if th there are some people that are selling products, um, selling products uh, such as fruits and other stuff, meaning that those business must be given a support. You cannot go to town and buy stuff that uh, other people are selling in the, in, the, in the township. So we must support each other in terms of buy each other's product in terms of economic pillar so that we can we can uh, support each other in the township so in the city support local business for a supply if you need supply for other thing you cannot just go to town meaning that you buy the service that the people that are close to you have that will help you in terms of save or saving of money for transport and time because you will get the product in the same place that you are in uh, in a local project procurement so meaning that that will be in terms of making sure that the PE is taking place uh, which is the PE stands for broad based black economic empowerment meaning that we empower each other as a, as a, as a black uh, community so that will benefit black South Africans meaning that the PE will help in terms of tourism benefiting for businesses of black south african ownership management and staffing meaning that those things will lead to people being hired management will be training there will be training that will be taking place to the staff all of those things so we're talking about economic pillar economic pillar has to do with something that brings the profit has to do with something that brings the what the profit okay then we talk about the the social pillar we talk about the social pillar so social pillar it involves human health it involves resources it involves security it involves uh, other social uh, impact uh, elements in society. The needs, the school, hospitals, disability, all those kind of things. So the first thing that we will talk about in this slide, it's a um, positive uh, and negative influence uh, on community. How social pillar... Um, being positive influence to a community, how social pillar being negative influence to the community. So social pillar, social pillar plays a role in creating job opportunities for the community. Social pillar plays a role in making sure it acknowledge the local culture, meaning that the local culture have the opportunity now of being given acknowledgement uh, being able to share their stories to the world, meaning that the tourists that will be coming to the to the to the to their place, involvement in terms of social player pillar plays a big role in terms of involvement in social upliftment programs, meaning that they will be programs that are making sure that they uplift in terms of uplift. Uh, awareness of local culture, meaning that there will be things that will be taught of local cultures and tradition. They will be sharing their stories uh, through the world, making sure that people are being taught about the local cultures and traditions, how people live, how people do things in terms of clothing, in terms of all of those kind of things. So those are positive things. Then the last one of the positive influence to the community due to a social pillar, which is the community will be able to show necessary respect towards the local community, a culture and tradition, meaning that those who are visiting the township will have have to 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 show respect towards those people that they are visiting in their local community, respect to their culture and how they do things 
and tradition as well. So those are the positive things that we get from social pillar. Social pillar, which is, has to do with people. So these are the things that has to do with people. Negative influence on, on community, meaning that sometimes social pillar bring uh, the, uh, no job opportunities for local community members in terms of scarceness of job opportunities. And also there is exportation to the environment and that the environment of that particular uh, place that there is exploitation in terms of it, it's overused the environment of any place. Maybe they eat, um, tourists usually go all the time on exploitation, meaning that the people that are uh, staying there, they are pay, paid lesser. So being it's exploitation, meaning that being take advantage, and uh, then sometimes there is disrespect towards the community, meaning that the community members are being disrespected, uh, in which the business operate, meaning that they're being taken advantage, uh, of, of them, the community. So, the social pillar indicate positive influence to a community and it has the negative influence as well uh, it has in both sides so social pillar as we said that it indicates more about businesses have complied meaning that the business must follow the basic condition of employment act any business uh, it must play by books in terms of basic conditions employment that employers should be and uh, don't do as you please in the business. It, the social pillar in the talks more about health, as I indicated on that previous slide. It talks about uh, safety of staff members. The people that are working in that particular business has to be safe. It talks about the health in terms of HIV and AIDS care. Uh, it talks more about possible education that people should be getting in terms of trainings that are available it consider the needs in terms of consider what the other needs of the people with disability that they should be given so trying to outline those things so in terms of social meaning things that uh, people face in, in in community wise then the social pillar the last slide of social pillar the tourism business can give the local community opportunity to showcase their tradition meaning that in the social pillar the 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 businesses uh, can 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 give local community meaning that the community members can have an opportunity of showing what uh, they have in terms of the culture their culture in terms of beliefs how they do things so this business uh, will help them in terms of showing case what they have Tourism business can give the local community opportunity to, to sell some of their what cultural product to earn money. Meaning that the businesses, uh, for those who are doing the hands jobs, they will have an opportunity if they are doing woodwork or they are doing beads or other things. So in this tourism business, they will have an opportunity to sell this work to the foreign tourists because it's something that they, they, they are good at. So they will have the opportunity to sell them. Unfortunately, that local community can be negative influenced by tourists by becoming uh, westernized. They see tourists and would like to be like that as well. In terms of clothes, camera, phone, behavior, they all stage and lose their... So what is being said up, uh, sometimes that uh, some people in the community, they would love to, to, to be those people that are coming from abroad in terms of their clothes. They would want to wear similar to those people. They would want phones and camera and also the way that they behave. Uh, sometimes that can be have a, 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 not a good impact to the tourists because tourists want to see how you are as a person in terms of in the community so that can have a a bit of disturbance because that's not part of your tradition you're following other people's tradition okay so 
we have economic pillar talks about profit we have social pillar talks about anything with people we have environmental talks about plants so you need to be able to understand how these are differ as we indicated in our slide so then the last part talks about corporate social investment corporate social investment so this one is the last one and it's key to tourism meaning that the CSI stands for corporate the C stands for corporate when you talk about corporate we refer to companies corporate we refer to companies the S stands for social we refer that to communities then the i stands for investment so investment refer to money time goods and services so meaning that the csa uh, the corporate uh, corporate social investment uh, it has to do with the voluntary support it has to do with voluntary support that business give to the community uh, to the community uh, they operate in so business giving back to the community that they operate in uh, so that can be financial support or non-financial support so csi stands for the support business give to the community they operate in so this support will depend on the size it will depend on the size of the what of the company how is the size of the company that support will depend on that it may it can be whole of south africa meaning that it can be whole of south africa only local places that gets the assistance meaning that this csa can 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 have businesses along the country meaning that they can support the whole country or they can, if they have small businesses, meaning that they will support that particular place that they have business in, which is that CSA stands for uh, Corporate Social Investment. It has to do with voluntary support that a business give to a community that they operate in, meaning that the, the the support can be financial support meaning when you talk about financial support meaning that they can provide health they can provide in terms of support they can provide in terms of giving back to education they can provide in terms of uh, young empowerment meaning empower young people that's financial support meaning that they provide support financially non-financial support meaning that they can give feeding scheme they can give donations meaning that uh, they can give furniture they can give equipment so any kind of support uh, which is this is a non-financial support okay so csi occurs when a business use money or resource for the project that they improve the world around them meaning that csi the business will use its money its money uh, or resources for the project trying to improve the world uh, without getting any benefits from the company meaning that they don't get benefit from that the social cause may take the form of money gift in kind employees time resources meaning that when the business give it back uh, it has the the CSI meaning that it can give in terms of money support by giving money it can give it, the employers can take away its time give its time to 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 support and also they can use the resources for example of CSA that um, example a company donate supplies to people in need meaning that a business will what will donate things for the people that they need in terms of apply offers employers time 
off to voluntary at the local charity, meaning that the employees will not work in their place. They will go to charity and spend time there and give those gifts to those people in the charity. Uh, why company practice CS CSI? So what is the main reason for the companies to, to, to provide CSI? Meaning that they want to make sure that they their effort is to make sure that they generate positive publicity. There is positive publicity that is taking place in terms of trying to make sure that the image of the company is positive. Uh, and also this company is a company business that everyone should be part of because it's doing good things to the what to the community that they operate in that's why they will practice the csi and also the other one is to for coverage making sure the company um uh, company uh, give the company coverage attract new customers meaning that the business if it practices the csi meaning that everyone will want to be part of that business because wanting to join and be a customer for that particular business because they are giving back they are doing good things so i mean that's why they do csi the other one uh, meaning that employers they will people will want to be hired in that particular business because they will see that that business have social value and can attract people to work in that particular uh, meaning that people with best talent will want to be part of that uh, business. So, meaning that the CSI is a popular business trend. Meaning that CSI is a popular business trend. Companies have to keep up with their competitors. Meaning that CSI plays a big role for business to be popular in terms of the trends. Meaning that CSI plays a role in making sure that it keeps the business uh, in in the enlightenment in terms of making sure that it competes with other business it's there uh, because of what is it's what it's doing and also companies have to keep up um, they are they are what they are standard uh, standard so that's why businesses uh, practice CSI to the what to the industry. Thank you.